Computers are clearly causing us a lot of issues with distraction. Computers will distract us while we're trying to communicate with each other. Computers distract us while we're trying to do things like drive vehicles, and that can have really tragic consequences. Computers distract us when we're trying, you know, to study. So one of the things we want to think about when we interact with computers, and particularly with our mobile devices, is why are these devices so fundamentally distracting? And part of the problem is that uh, computers, particularly mobile devices, are in some ways perfectly designed to hit on both of our human attention systems. So humans have these, you know, uh, researchers that study the brain talk about the fact that humans really have two different uh, attention systems, two different systems for um, reacting to things in the world. So there's a top-down system that is really sort of, the, you can think of this as, let me draw something that's supposed to look like a brain, although I don't know what it looks like. Um, so the top-down system is sort of like these higher level brain functions, and that's what allows us to do things like read, um, study, watch you know, a play or watch a movie. These are activities that we can get highly drawn up in. This is sometimes, you know, we p think of this as concentration. So this is the type of attention system that allows us to focus, to you know, flow, this idea of losing track of time, things like that. And that's a very, very uniquely human attribute, right? This is the thing that allows us to learn. It's the thing that allows us to communicate with each other, um, to enjoy various types of entertainment. This is really, really important. On the other hand, there's also this more primitive sort of top, bottom up human attention system. Um, and you know, you could kind of refer to this as maybe distraction. Um, but so there's this ability for humans to react to stimuli in our environment. So somebody knocks at the door, or we hear a strange sound, or we catch sight of something out of our peripheral vision. And this attention system is also highly trained, and maybe it's even older than the concentration-based system. And, and so why is this system here? This system is here so that your ancestors millions of years ago, as they were you know, walking through the forest, imagine you're hunting some big animal that you're, you're really hungry and you're hunting this animal and you're totally focused on this. This is the top-down system. And then suddenly you hear this little rustle in the bushes over there. What is that? So this is the bottom-up system. And this system is super powerful because it has to be. It's the thing that keeps you alive when suddenly you're hunting this really, you know, a really tasty looking animal and there's an animal hunting you that just made a noise in the brush over there. So it's really important that we be able to respond to these types of stimuli. So think about your phone. Okay, so, you know, your phone delivers all of these sort of concentration and really engrossing content. Things like, you know, you read web pages on it, you read emails, you watch videos and things like that. And so the, the, the phone hits you on this top-down system, so it engages you there. But of course, it also gets you on this bottom-up system as well because it's constantly dinging and buzzing and blinking and has all these little things that it does to try to get your attention because you just got a new email, you just got a new text, or you know, someone sent you an offer that expires in five minutes to buy some you know, uh, new shoe online or something like that, whatever. And so these mobile devices are like perfectly created for us to just code completely take over our brains. They hit us on the top down with the concentration and they hit us on the bottom up with this constant stream of little distractions that connect with this really, really old part of our brain. So the same part of our brain that was designed to keep us safe by responding to kind of new stimuli in the environment that might seem unexpected is the same part that lights up a little bit when you get a new text message or lights up a little bit you know when the phone buzzes and so it's important to understand the fact that these devices hit us from both levels because this is one of the reasons it can be so easy to get so distracted by them and why it can be so dangerous sometimes to be so distracted by them